Alrighty, how are you guys doing? This is Dante with WHHP. Today we're going to talk about five free and easy ways to promote your Wix site. So according to Wix, the most important thing you can do to promote your website online is to use SEO. So I'm going to go step by step on five different steps to do that. The first and foremost most important thing they said is to customize titles for your pages. What are titles? Why is it important? Um, the title you're talking about is your meta title. And that's how your site will look on search results. It's important to designate uh, short and meta descriptions for all of the important pages on your site. And this will help potential clients find the exact information they're looking for. The best titles include specific keywords that your target audience will be looking for when seeking the services that your business provides. So what am I talking about exactly? Let's go to eBay, for example. So eBay, this is their meta title, eBay, electronics, cars, fashion, collectibles, coupons, blah, blah, blah. And this is a description they're talking about. You can buy and sell your electronics, your cars, your fashion, your apparel. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this meta title right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a description on your site. So the first thing you do is you go to your home page <coughs> or any page that you want to add the title to. For this one, we're going to do it the home page and you go to page SEO because we're going to be working on your page's SEO. And now, what's the page title? For this, we're doing a pizza website. So the title of the page is going to be Grande's Pizza. And as you can see right here, this is how exactly it's going to look on Google. On Google. <laughs> Grande's Pizza. And let's see, we're going to do 24-7 fresh delivery. Hopefully I spelled that right. I hate that Wix doesn't have spell check. Uh, Grande's pizza is always fresh and delicious. Order now to get 30% Off. Let's see what I'm typing. Off. Okay, fine. That's good. It didn't save. Well, you get the point. What you're going to do is you're going to add the title up here, and then you add the description down here. I don't know why Wix is not letting me get the description that I want, but that's how you do that. Let's try it again for another page, just so you guys can understand what I did there. What I do is go to I click on the page that I want to add the title to. I go down to page SEO and I add, this is the order online page, so click here, click here to, click here to order. And as you can see, it looks exactly how, it, how the eBay um, made, a, made a title looks. And then we're going to go over to description. Use offer code pizza fifteen to get fifteen percent off your next order, and that's exactly how it's going to look on the Google. All right, so that looks good. We're going to go ahead and click done, and that's how your page is going to look on Google search. And that will definitely help boost your SEO when people type in um, order pizza online or fresh pizza, or if they're looking for a cool pizza offer. That's the kind of stuff that they'll that that will show up on Google search results. So let's go on to step two. I'm going to label your images. Why should you label your images? And how do you label your images? I'm going to go back to the home page because that's where I'm going to post our first image or upload our first image. But I'm going to tell you why that's important. So the first thing you do is you're going to pick your... Um, I'm not going to tell you why that's important, important first. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. <laughs> first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your image. And this is the image we're going to use. This is the Grande Pizza logo. So once you've picked your favorite pick, you want to optimize your images. 
uh, for search by adding a descriptive text to each of your pictures. Adding text to your images helps search engines categorize your pictures better and understands, and understands your page better. So this is an easy way to add more um, text to your pages without adding a whole paragraph. Because a lot of people are turned off by websites with long paragraphs. I know I am. I don't want to read a long paragraph, but you still want to get the um, you still want to get the what word am I looking for? You still want to get the effect that you know a paragraph would have. So where do you hide that text? I'm going to show you. You go under settings and you scroll all the way down here to image text. So let's describe this image. Oh, I just deleted it. Let me go ahead and do that again. <laughs> I'm going to go to add image, image that you already uploaded. This is awesome. This is uh, the logo. So let's go ahead and describe that image. Let's say grande pizza. And the way that I do my image descriptions is with keywords. You can write a paragraph in there if you want, but I found the most effective way um, to improve your SEO rankings is write it in a keyword style. And the keyword style is using maybe one to two words and separate it by a comma. So grande pizza, uh, fresh, comma, pizza, uh, free delivery, you know, whatever you want to, sh to use to show off your business, what you think people will search for. Um, if it's a local restaurant, then you would obviously put, let's just say, Detroit or Los Angeles. And then so when people type in pizza or fresh pizza or free delivery in Detroit, um, your image will help uh, your search rankings. Let's do that one more time for a different image here. So I'm scrolling down the website. Cool, this is Grande. So let's talk about Grande. Again, here we go to settings. Scroll all the way down here to image text. And this is what's gonna tell Google. Um, this is how you tell Google about your image. Um, let's see, uh, what are some descriptive words for a pizza? Uh, let's say cheese. Pepperoni. Again, pe people, please do not pick on my uh, grammar and spelling. I'm not teaching you guys how to do spelling and grammar. That is very important for your SEO. So if you guys want to make sure everything is spelled right, I do recommend opening a Word file or, or Googling every, you know, if you want to make sure you spelled your image right or spelled your word right, I do go in here and make sure I spelled pepperoni right. I did spell pepperoni right. So easily fix that there. So we got cheese. Don't be a pain. Cheese, pepperoni, olives. I know some people like that. I don't like olives on my pizza. Uh, but you, you get the point there. Um, just use descriptive, descriptive words that people will use when they're searching for your business. All right, now that's done. Uh, step three. We're going to socialize your SEO. What do I mean by socializing your SEO? Well, social media sites are some of the first pages to pop up when someone searches your business. So only getting them to your website is of top priority. And if you don't believe me, let's go back to eBay, eBay and see if their social pages pop up. Right under eBay's website is their Twitter and their Facebook. So let me show you how to get that to happen for your site. First thing you're going to do is scroll all the way down here to where your social links are. Uh, if you don't have any social links on your website already, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that first. Because I know if you're not using a template like I am, you have to add in your uh, social links yourself. So let me show you how to quick do that. You're going to go to add. And I'm doing this pretty quick, so let me, let me slow down a little bit. You're going to go to add. Uh, go down to social and you'll see they pop up right here now if you just want the the likes if you just want to get likes to your Facebook page don't know why they clicked off there. if you just want to get likes to your Facebook page you can add those or to your Google Plus um, let's 
a spell. You know, you get the you can get Twitter follower followers. You can get the pin it, so you can add that. You know, if you want people to pin certain things on certain pages, they have a lot of cool social links on there. But what we I'm getting distracted here. What we're what we're doing is we're just adding a social bar, so you can get on um, that social SEO. That's all you have to do. Just click that, and it'll add that to your website. I'm going to edit up here so that's the first thing people s one of the first things people see when they click on my website. <laughs> Move that out of the way first. There you go. And the best place for me I found to put that is usually our social bar is usually in our header or in our footer. And on some templates it's already built in, on others you have to add it there. And all you have to do is double click it there and it'll add them it'll it'll populate onto your screen now all you have to do is click on the link down here itself right here and Wix already has their website in there but I'm sure you don't want to um, direct all your social followers to Wix so you'll go to your Facebook ours is WHHP of course so I'll just uh, Click on the link up here, facebook.com slash WHHP San Antonio. So I copy that and paste it in there. And now when people want to like us on Facebook, all they have to do is click that link and it'll, and it'll go straight to our Facebook page. If you guys want to see that one more time, what I did was I went over here to the ad and go went right down to social and the first thing that pops up is, it's not the first thing that pops up I take that back one of the things that pops up is the social bar and you can pick any one that you know goes along with your site's design this one looks very good on our site and if I want to add a link which you are gonna want to do so you can get those followers you just double click it and you click on whichever social media uh, outlet you're using. For us, we're doing Facebook. You want to take uh, Wix's already link. You want to take that out of there and add your own. You just go to your Facebook page, right-click the um, the URL, and paste it in there. Click done, done. And if you want to make sure that works, you just preview it, and it'll take you right to your Facebook page. Alright, so step four. Choosing the right domain. This is the last step you do before you publish your website. You need to select a URL or domain. It's the address that visitors use to type in to find your site. It's like the giant sign above a storefront. Um, it's one of the first things your visitors will see when they come to your site. And that's why it's the first place Google looks to understand what your site is about and decide how to rank it. Now, the uh, ideal domain will include your business name and perhaps a keyword or two that is relevant to your business. And I hate to say it, it's usually hard to, <laughs> to get the key if you have a very um, widely used business name, it's hard to get that domain. But you can enter something if you sell TVs, you can say Dante's Electronics for less. Those are two good um, keywords, the electronics and less. Or if we're sticking with the pizza, uh, Grande's Fresh Pizza.com or Grande's Fresh Hot and Ready. I don't know. You, know, you just use some keywords that people would uh, use to find your, your business plus your, your business name and that usually equals a good um, domain name that will help boost your site rankings. Alright so step five uh, is the last but certainly not least is submitting your site to search engines. Now I highly suggest um, submitting your site to search engines um, using the webmaster tool it's uh, to let the search engines know that you have new information so whenever you're updating your site and you haven't updated it you know in six months or so this is a good way to let Google know that you have new information 
and that is the newest information that's going to be shown on search engines when people uh, search for your products or services. So what you're going to do is let's go over to Google and go over to Webmaster Tools. Um, now I already have some sites in there. I, I manage a lot of different sites for people. So what you're going to do is go over to Add Property. And you would type in your um, your website's URL or domain name that you've that you've already published. So let's go. Let's just type in grandepizza.com. Actually, it's going to be Grande's Fresh Pizza because we're going to use a keyword. Um, let's use two keywords: Grande's Fresh Delivery Pizza. Or actually, it would probably sound better if it was Grande's Fresh Pizza Delivery. Okay. And the first thing you're going to do is go into this uh, verification page. Now, Wix doesn't use the HTML file upload. What Wix uses is an alternative method, and that's your HTML tag. And this is a meta tag that you're going to need to copy. So you're going to just right click and copy that, and you're going to paste this Let's see. you're gonna go to your site site settings area and since we're working on your site's SEO you're gonna go to the SEO part of your site or part of the site setting page and you're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says more settings and meta tags I already have one in there but you know if this is a new site you obviously won't have it in there so you'll just go and paste in that straight from the webmaster uh, search console and once you're ready to publish uh, your site you'll go ahead and click on publish and then once it's published you can go down here to verify and obviously since this isn't a real site it won't be able to verify it but um, <clears throat> once your site is verified I'll show you what you have to do now once your site is verified it's gonna take you to a page like this what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the menu over here and you're gonna go to crawl and you're gonna go to fetch as Google I'm gonna give it a second to load and you're gonna just go ahead if you want that page to be crawled the marriage built to last .com or let's it's it's gonna be you know grindepizza.com gonna go um, fetch as Google and once it's fetched it's gonna say complete um, and that's basically how you submit your site to Google you can do the same thing for Bing um, Bing is now also uh, Microsoft now also owns Yahoo, so you can submit your site to Bing and Yahoo just by using the Bing Webmaster Tools. And you can do the same thing I did to find Google by just typing in Bing Webmaster Tools. And it'll take you to their Webmaster Tool. Alright, and that's it. Those are the five easy and free ways to boost your SEO on Wix. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, if I said something too quickly or you didn't understand something, definitely leave a comment down below and I can uh, do another video. If you have any um, ideas on videos that I should do, please leave me a comment or shoot me a message. And also, I just want to let you guys know, WHHP always offers free business advice. All you have to do is send us an email at this email right there. Um, we monitor our email, emails 24-7 and someone will get back to you. Uh, we do advice on marketing, finances, business plans, all that kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again. Yeah.